Well, Heidi, you, you, you briefly mentioned something very important. Um, here in Colorado, we have a fantastic law called the Taxpayer Bill of Rights, which, uh, which some people tried unsuccessfully to repeal uh, a couple of years ago. We all received table refunds this year, but they came with what some would call is a bit of a spin from the governor's office. What are your thoughts on this year's table or tax? Uh, checks. Oh boy, here we go again. Um, so I was the one that chaired that effort a couple of years ago to protect Tabor, no on Prop CC, and Jared Polis was up against me, and he lost, which he's going to lose again. <laughs> but my goodness, what a crafty little thing that was to use three million dollars of taxpayer money to move the payments up and then put a letter in that doesn't, it didn't, rec, uh, it didn't even talk about Tabor, did it? It just said, here's a check from me, Jared Polis, to use however you want. Well, people across Colorado aren't stupid. They're very smart, and they see through that. Just like a lot of other crafty things he's done, like putting $3 million into the Republican primary to try and take me out there, putting $10 million into the race so far of his own money to try and take us out at the knees. This isn't about money and airwaves. We've got to tell Jared Polis this is an election, not an auction, and our votes will not be bought again. We're smart. We know now. And he and the Democrats can buy as many polls as they want that look like we're losing. We're not losing. I'm going to let you go on that rant. We are not losing. We've got the hearts and souls and the minds of the people across this great state, the farmers and ranchers that are upset, the energy workers that are upset, the parents that are upset, the small business owners that are upset, law enforcement that's upset. You tell me who he has on his side. 